there we have the lineup for today. Ali Farag, the world number one from Egypt, will be up against Rafael Kandra, the German number one. Stepped up the court immediately in this uh, in this match. Yeah, well, I think after those early exchanges, Kandra realized that Farag meant business in those front corners, and if he didn't and step up the court one, and be more aggressive with his movement, there was going to be a lot of Troll. trouble. Massively, it's amazing from such a relaxed swing and quite a short swing, actually, how much pace he's able to generate. Who of the top players do you that are currently playing now do you most admire and kind of try to learn from or, or copy a little bit? Would it be Farag or well to turn up the heat without you really noticing that he's doing <laughs> that much with yeah. the ball? Seven game balls here to the world number one, and that was the wrong shot to try Seven from that position. The ball was tight Farag to the side wall. Typical shot from Farag going for it from from Love All in the first. Yeah, no, his, w his tee position is way up there, and he's getting, the, he's getting the weight of shot perfect as well. Nothing he's hitting in the back corner is sitting up, and that's creating a lot of time for him to take the ball early around the middle. That's well read. And out. That's a typical Kandra volley, just being in the right place at the right time. and. He's still in the ascendancy score-wise, Farag, though, so he might be trying to be a little bit more adventurous shot selection-wise just to see if he gets any joy early in the rally. Yeah, it's absolutely um, correct for him to, to go for his shots. He's looking very confident out there. I just noticed, actually, beforehand that, no. that Kandra served with a forehand from the right-hand side. Must have heard no. us. Seven <laughs> Scrappy, but I think he got them back. They couldn't get that back, though. Farag finally finishes off his German opponent in the second game. Farag's just taking it in far too comfortably. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> oh, wow. I think one thing a lot of people don't talk about or underestimate with Farag is the, the racket head speed and get some work into the legs of Farag. Keep him honest. Oh, wow. I mean, that was a pretty good drop shot from Kendra. I mean, it was a fantastic Six, two, drop shot and yeah. Farag really needed to power on to that. Well, at this point, Kendra's under all kinds of pressure. He's having to do some very hard movements, so when he's presented with an opportunity, he's trying to find whatever joy he can. Oh, wow. Nine, three. This is mightily impressive here from Ali Farag, showing some of his own skills there. And here's that backhand serve. It's got to go high and wide. Well, that was a masterclass from Ali Farag. All smiles, I mean. What a performance, the world number one, not really giving his opponent much of a chance today, coming through 11-3, 11-6, 11-4 in just 26 minutes. Some great gets there from, from both players. That's well played. Just got the right line there as well. Had to adjust Solomon. Eight, seven left. Wasn't as easy as it looked. 
Hitting's definitely gone up a notch, Parky. Yeah, definitely. Just coming to the, we're at the business end of this first game. Ibrahim fighting hard here. He's, he's only a couple of points down, but he, just as I say that, slightly fortuitous shot from from Ibrahim. Oh, I think he was clever. Uh, Solomon or uh, Ibrahim was trying to be clever with the racket placement yeah. to sell that stroke. Wow. Well, that is very severe hitting. Yeah, that's impressive. And that's what we know Ibrahim can do when he's playing at his best. Solomon, for a period there, seemed like he had the game well under control. He was absorbing everything and creating great pressure on the counterattacks. And whatever lead he had is now disintegrated. And it's an area, area Solomon needs to be careful because if he... I think if he drops this game, we're going to see Ibrahim relax a, a little bit and be able to attack more freely. It's not far off though in this second, is he? He's still got a still got a bit of a chance. Eight ten. No, it's still a very fine margin, Parky. Oh, there's that flick cross court again with power. Oh, oh dear. We've seen too many shots like that from Ibrahim, just just clipping the tin, not really moving his feet. I'm not sure if he's um, feeling 100% right now, but his shots aren't coming off as they usually would. What would you say to him? Well, I think he still needs to keep being positive, but I think he maybe needs to just change a little bit the way, way he's attacking, and instead of looking to win points with the attacks, just create pressure and make the court bigger for Solomon. Because he's put a lot of work into Solomon's legs, and he just needs to keep keep putting the work in and keep keep extending the rallies. And eventually, you'd hope that the edge would come off Solomon. And there's that touch. Three drop shots in one rally. Really good soft drop shots. Good hands from Solomon. And Well, that wasn't really even close. It was, I don't know what to say about that, Chris. Can take it away. Going back to the basics in this rally. Good width. Oh, he's gone for it. He's gone for the Hollywood the shot, the cross-court nick that served him so well in a lot of his big, big wins, Ibrahim, but it didn't work today. All credit to Yusuf Solomon. What a fantastic win for him. Well, what a performance from Yusuf Solomon. We were expecting possibly a five-setter today, but he comes through 11-7, 11-8, 11-9. Do you know how many? I'm not sure, but it's it's a sizable amount. It's we'll speak to our researchers. They're a bit busy at the moment eating. Yeah, I'd like to th I'd like to think it's it's around eight, eight, eight to ten medals though. Two one achievement. And he's still still a great player to watch. Still in wonderful condition. Supremely eight entertaining. Four. He's always been supremely entertaining. He has. A tremendous amount of time <laughs> thinking about it in his free time. <laughs> it's because he got drilled so often, people being uh, annoyed with him on the court. Wow. That's great reactions. From both players here. Stroke to Rodriguez. Oh, dear. Oh! Oh! I'm not sure that's a stroke, Chris. Oh. It was a very tight parky. Mr. Al Sherbini, control your tone, please. Here at the business end, he has massively raised his level. Well, that was a good hold. Really made Rodriguez stop in his tracks there. So hard to change direction once you've stopped your feet. Great Down. touch. Great. 
great touch Rodriguez. there from Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez, Rodriguez. And as you say, he's, he's managed to find a way there. The more experienced player, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad a serve either. It was just, uh, I think that's why it was so deceptive because you, you wouldn't expect that kind of return from, from that serve. Oh, that's clever as well. 4-3. Shots here from Shabini. Couldn't react to that one, Rodriguez. And out. 8 5. Clever shot from the Egyptian. We'll be getting the disco balls out soon. There's not much turning and twisting. Down. Another error Nine from Shabini. He's, he was very consistent in the early days of this in this this game, but he's starting to clip the ten. Left. Oh. Interesting choice to play the exhibition shot at this stage. Talk about exhibition. I mean, that was phenomenal. The Colombian cannonball pulled that one out from I don't know where. That was so impressive. He did well there, Shabini, because and Rodriguez out. was enjoying that Four rally. Six. It was all over the court to, to get past Rodriguez. That's nah, well played. The simplicity of that shot was Seven five. wonderful. Thank you. And out nine six. straight onto the strings of the Colombian. Oh, it's fantastic touch and, and then the drive there. Absolute perfection from Rodriguez. That was a real quality show there from the Colombian. Against a difficult opponent who he lost to in a previous only match. Mohamed is, is climbing into the, into the rankings. He's a very experienced player, very talented, very skillful, you know, had to pull my balls, you know, back at the court. And uh, I yeah, work with my, with my speed, move the ball around. And yeah, it, it worked. I think the, the first game was, was the key. And, but I kept the patient and I was focused and I had a great performance. 12, 10, 11, 8, 11, 8 in 47 minutes. He's through to the quarterfinals. He's turned himself very quickly into a main contender for, for most events no. that he enters. Hang out, 2 1. Move here. I'd like to see Steinman lift the ball a little bit more, though, as you said earlier, just to sort of reset. Give something, give Asal something to think about. Didn't see that one. 6 2. Oh, what a get that was. A little bit of interference as well going back. Look at that. I tell, I tell you what, Parky, for the size of Asal's oh. frame, he does a tremendous job getting. 
getting a lot of balls back. It's ridiculous. There's been some phenomenal stuff. We talk about the the shot making and the, and the power of assault for someone so young. That's clipped the top of the tin and the crowd really appreciating appreciating that one as we are. And out nine. True, and it's seven game balls for the youngster. The scary thing is though that uh, he can play a lot better than this. I mean, he's done, he's done enough. Certainly, Down. Steinman has played his part. He's been to good rallies. As the leads one game to love. As I said, the accuracy isn't isn't quite there yet for Asali in the early part of the the new year. No, absolutely. But I think now that he's got that first game under his belt, we're going to see Asal relax a little bit. And we already see he's stepping way up the court here. Yeah, yeah he's, he's missing his favorite uh, cross-court nick on the forehand. But that is going to go in at some point. And it's, it's a force of nature, isn't he? That's wonderful. Lovely touch there. Great hands from this youngster. Yesterday against Deck James, but he's finding himself six game balls down now in this second. Down. Yeah, just, just trying a bit too much game there. A little bit of as the leads two games frustration, well. confusion maybe. Wow, that was impressive. Hey, Dad, read that one nice and early, five. Steinman. Right. Really use your technique rather than uh, using pace. Yeah, he's certainly gone to the opposite extreme there, Parky. And out, eight all. Well, a great angle on the ball there, real shutout. Yeah, I mean, you can only marvel at that, that kind of power and that kind of timing, really. Out. He's overcooked it. That's a shame from Man's Steinman. He played out. really well. He had a, a bit of a chance in that third game as he, he took a lead from Mustafa Asal. Really breathtaking in some of his power. 